Adam Miles. How you doing? What we got in front of us? This is the Native Slayer Propel 10. You see the smile on my face? I do. <laughs> All right, now look, here's, here's, here's the deal. We've compacted just a little bit. Mm -hmm. The weight has gone down. We're looking at this little outfit, and man, I got bluegill on the brain. <laughs> Talk about the changes uh, from what we were in last year to what this is right now. So the Native Slayer Propel 10 is the 10-foot version of what you are in last year, which is a 13-foot boat. So what they've done is they've taken off three feet and they've added an inch to the width. Um, so it's still an extremely stable platform, um, but you have a little bit more maneuverability than you did in the 13-foot version. As you have watched this world come along with people, the number of fishermen seems to be rising and rising. It's around. growing a lot. Well, let's talk about that. Why do you think that is? I think it's for a few reasons. Um, one is that it's a, people are seeing how much more affordable this is mm -hmm. compared to some other options out there. Um, another one is kind of the push to just lead a healthier, more active lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So it lets them go out and get a little bit of exercise when they're out there. And I'd say kind of one of the biggest reasons is the comfort of these boats has really gone through the let's roof say the that word again. years. Let's say that word again. Comfort. Comfort. Okay. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, I was using an outfit. When I got out of the boat, I thought I was going to die. People think about these uh, with moving water. You know what I think about? Moving water, obviously. But man, I like them on small impoundments mm -hmm. or uh, some of the state-owned lakes that are anywhere from 100 to 500 acres. Right. Slipping around quietly. But let's talk about from here to here. Go ahead and just run through this boat. Okay. Um, so at the front, they've added this hatch here. In the 13-foot mm -hmm. version, it's just kind of a tank well. Um, whereas in the 10-foot version, you can take this hatch off and it gives you access to the whole inside of the boat. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of store gear down there. Right now, we've got a paddle mounted in here, uh, but there's a couple pieces of gear track that you can mount things like rod holders into, fish finders, cell phone holders, paddle holders, whatever you really kind of want to do. Depth finders going right here. Exactly, yeah, depth finder right up here. So it's kind of out of the way, but still easy to see. Then you've obviously got the propel drive, which is kind of what makes this boat unique. Mm -hmm. This area down here, you have a cover that mm -hmm. goes over where the drive actually fits down into the boat. And then over here on this side is your rudder control, so your left and your I'm right I'm glad steering. they put on the left hand side. <laughs> it works <laughs> out well, doesn't it? It works out well for me. <laughs> and then you have a really comfortable seat. Mm -hmm. um, this seat sits up high enough so that whenever you're actually in the pedaling motion, your ankles are right in line with your hips. So mm -hmm. it's a much more ergonomic way to, to kind of pedal and get around. Plus it's extremely comfortable, mm -hmm. it's vented, Thank so you're, not, you're not sweating when you're out there. Place yeah. for your tackle behind you or a cooler, whatever exactly, you want to put Exactly, yeah, in there. cooler, um, a crate for all of your fishing gear, things like that. And again, some more of that gear track so you can still do things like rod holders and, mm -hmm. and other accessories back there. You know, I like to troll. This is an outfit where trolling works really well. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just get out there and kind of look at the scenery and pop. Exactly, you you're able to fish on the go, uh, which is kind of different from traditionally paddling kayaks, mm -hmm. is that anytime you're paddling, you don't have the rod in your hand. I have seen some people rig these things up. They look like a porcupine when they're done. There's so mm -hmm. much you can add to this to make it the rig. Tell us uh, one more thing Any, in closing. Uh, what about this boat that appeals to a lot of folks? Affordability, but also just kind of getting back to the roots of fishing, where it's just mm -hmm. kind of you and the fish. Uh, it's a more intimate way of getting on the water, being able to get back into those tight spaces that you can't get to with a power boat. So it really kind of opens up um, where people can fish for really all demographics. It's kind of changed my world of fishing. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of other people. I tell you what, uh, it feels like Christmas. Uh, it needs to stop raining. And I'm, uh, you're going to see us on a farm pond real soon. Sounds good. The reason I'm attached to this is if you're fishing and you need to back up, if you're in some moving water, you know how frustrating it is if you see some fish? Say you're in some moving water and you see a fish and you need to take one, one particular stretch that looks really good and a lot of times you'll have to shoot right by it or try to struggle to get the paddle. You just simply back up and you can work that area and work that area and work that area hands-free, then let it take you back down.
being in a small boat makes you, I think, a better fisherman. You have to work more water, you have to go slower. I think that's why kayak fishing is so popular nowadays, is because, first of all, you can set them in a lot longer. This seat is so much more comfortable than they used to be. This is an all-day chair. I can sit in this chair all day and be comfortable and fish. Seats are comfortable, you get exercise, move on down the lane and catch this fish. Wonder bite.